Okay, now let's round things off with a discussion of proving non-consequence and giving counterexamples to arguments. Okay, so we've seen how using a proof in a deductive system like Fitch, we can show that an argument is valid. But what about an invalid argument? Take for instance the argument here, A is a cube, A is smaller than B, so B is a cube, which we encountered earlier. Now providing a counterexample is basically providing an interpretation that makes the premises true, but renders the conclusion false. And we can do this in Tarski's world. So what we want is an interpretation that makes 1 and 2 true and 3 false. So let's first drop in a cube and call it A. And we'll drop in another object, B. And we need A to be smaller than B. So this means B can be, let's make it large. So that makes all three of these true. But we can make 1 and 2 true and 3 false by making B into a dodecahedron. This gets us two true sentences and a false sentence. And because these are the sentences that we have here, this world is a counterexample to this argument. So in general, to make a counterexample, you need to just provide an interpretation that makes the premises true and the conclusion false. Okay, that wraps up week three. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Just post about them on Piazza. And otherwise, good luck.